Hello everyone, my name is Riley and this is RDW Glass, a YouTube channel for glass blowing. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel, liking the videos. This is our Instagram and our website where we sell glass. That is where our glass is sold. Now in a video a couple weeks ago I showed you guys my garden and I'm going to show you guys the progression on that. With all of the lettuce that we had, we've already been trimming and eating it. So over now you guys can see the wheat that's growing. See so a few weeks ago you saw that these were just mounds of dirt. Now there's a literal grass patch. Super tall. The whole hand can go inside of it. Okay, just a few weeks watering. So putting some seeds now. It's pumpkin. We got this sugar cane here now. There and there too. And you can see the lettuce is how it's progressed. I'm letting, we've trimmed, trimmed, trimmed and let it grow up to seed. And that way we can plant these seeds and restart the process again. So we got some, I threw like flower seeds all in here so eventually there'll be flowers. Um, you can see the tomato growth right here. It's beautiful. Yep. And the peppers, same thing. We did some trimming, but you can still see the red one that we had there is gone. Uh, I got this nice bell pepper here. These freaking grasshoppers. Get the heck out of here, man. Ah. Pests. I'm trying to eat my peppers. That's what that's from. Those grasshoppers. Um, where's the... Oh, yes. Big pepper. And I remember telling you guys that I had more uh, milkweed over here. Now it's actually starting to grow in. Getting some green leaves on there. That's the progression on the potatoes. And in the last video, you just seen it was just dirt. So now we got potatoes growing. Look at the corn, how much that's shot up. And we got these grasshoppers out of nowhere. Get away from my plants. Heck yeah. Got the corn growing up. And those carrots that we talked about. You can look at how much they've grown. Little succulents in there. Beautiful, beautiful. And the cactus, the cacti that I had. Oh, look at the butterfly. Putting on the show for us. Beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, the cactus that we had here, I moved them and put them here. So we got like a little cactus garden going on here. Um, yeah, this was the cauliflower that we had to like peel this apart to show you and now it's like fluffing out. You gotta trim it soon or else it'll be wasted. So now we'll do the same to this one you see if we... Now it's not even forming yet, but we'll have some cauliflower there as well. It's getting a lot of sun, loving it. It's an eggplant. This is my first time growing eggplants. I didn't know the actual flowers were purple too. It's beautiful flowers create an eggplant. Beautiful. And then these are how the herbs are going. Got the catnip, the lettuce that we trimmed, um, lemon, rosemary. We got lemon basil, rosemary, mint, aloe, sage, thyme, and more sage. This is how the bean garden's growing. You can actually see these our little beans. So, like by the end of the month, or not the end of this month, so in a month, we should have some green beans to eat. Which we started planting them a little early, so I put more seeds down because it's just now getting to the time when you're supposed to be planting them. And you can see these guys are starting to grow up and vine just like they did 
last year, which is what you see here. It's all the vines from last year. So it's awesome. Once they grow all the way up, you'll be able to just like pick green beans as you walk through this thing. All right, and I remember showing you the tomato garden and stuff, so I'm gonna show you that again real quick too. All right, we're over here by the tomato garden. So where we had those logs, I decided to plant, uh, like I decided to pull the logs back a little bit, pour a bunch of soil, and plant more wheat seeds. So now we got a bunch more wheat growing over here. And I also planted a few bean seeds, so that's why these beans are growing up. And I'll have them like vine around this. And also planted some corn seeds because I felt like, hey, if the wheat is growing up high, might as well have a few more high plants. So, so this right here is corn, corn, corn. This is all of the wheat. You can see the beans growing. And there are cactus. So we got more wheat, more beans, more corn, sugar cane. And the cabbage. There was a like cabbage, lettuce, cabbage, lettuce, but... Like I say, in the lettuce, we've been harvesting and eating a lot lately. Um, yeah, it's a little different setup. And the cabbage is going to be soon to be harvested because we're actually getting, like, it's forming the, the cabbage. Um, yeah, so this, we actually got it growing up. I used these wire holders to nail it in, allow it to grow up. You know, we got our oregano over here. We got the Italian herb for the dumping section because this is what we're going to be making is uh, tomato sauce. Oh, lizard. Oh. All right. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. We've been... I have, like, a whole, like, mason jar, like... Uh, like a jar, like, this size filled with tomatoes so we're soon to be able to smash those bad boys use some herbs and make a sauce but I wanted to use the spaghetti or the the tomato sauce that I made as like sauce for pasta from wheat so I'd have to save the tomatoes for a while and get the tomatoes to be saved save that and then as soon as we can finally have the wheat grow enough where I can get the seeds and grind them and turn it into flour and use the eggs and make everything, then I'll be able to have a whole meal. Yeah, then I'll be able to have a whole meal out of stuff that I grew. And that is the objective. Boom, we just hit eight minutes. Time to get into the glass blowing. What is our video about today? Today our video is about frit. So this pile of glass shards right there, that is frit. See, we have some caramel fine frit. Some caramel caramel fine frit right there by North Star Glassworks. I've had this for a while, but we're gonna get some use out of it today. So you see here we have four ounces. Avoid breathing the glass dust. That's a nice good warning. Somebody must have done that. So they have to warn you now. But this is how you'll buy the frit. It comes in a jar. It's just shards of glass. It's a bunch of glass crystals. And just so you, just in case you were thinking about doing this, just avoid breathing the glass dust, okay? When you open this, I know it seems like something you just want to inhale. And what you do is you take it, you pour it onto your graphite situation that you should have in front of you. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a solid rod hot, and we're just going to show you one application for frit, and that's using it to create an implosion. So I'm going to show you that now. And you know our implosions, they will... Our implosions look like this most of the time because we use the stringers so we dot and then we twist a color that i don't use very frequently is the caramel but we will use that today as a frit version all right found an implosion that actually has some of those caramel dots in it 
So we're going to use this for it to create an implosion. Let's do it. Oh ho ho, what do we always have to have? Ventilation. That's right. Alright, ventilation and glasses. Yesterday was the solar eclipse. The, uh, an entire solar eclipse. The total eclipse. And if you had these glass blowing glasses or some welding helmet, you could have used those to make up the sun. Alright, our objective today is to explain what frit is. Frit is just shards of glass cut up. We're gonna we're gonna explain how we use frit in one way, and that is by taking this glass, getting it hot, this section, then what we'll do is we'll smush it in there, and when we do that, it will coat the piece with the frit. Now, think of how we've done our implosions in the past, where we sit there, and once we have our flat surface, we dot, and we take the stringer, and we dot every, every single little dot. Dum, 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 dum. So this is a way to get a bunch of dots on there very fast because those shards of glass, it's not going to come out in a flat pattern. It's going to come out with some room in between each little piece of glass. And you know with our implosions, once we get that section of glass hot that we wanted to, then we take it and we press. And that's how we get our flat section. Nice and flat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push this grip further this way. That way it's not directly in the torch line, that way I don't burn myself. Alright. Always be aware of where your flame is prevent you from burning yourself. Alright, getting it nice and hot, and I'm going to flatten it one more time, and heat it up slightly, and then we're going to stick it right in that pile of grit. You see how the hot glass picked up all of those glass shards. And now we heat. Our objective is to get those glass shards to push forward, creating an implosion.
go now. I'll take a punchy. Slight twist. What I want to do is give this little um, implosion that we have here already, I want to give it a background of more of that caramel. Now the reason I did that uh, last dabble of uh, color at the end is because I wanted you to really be able to see how pressing frit or pressing hot glass into frit will allow that whole piece to turn into that color. We'll do another video one day about using frit on tubing. That way you understand how to do it on hollow tubing, but we're gonna just do this video like this. That way it doesn't get too long. using a thin punty. Hmm. I've not eaten, got the shakes. Kind of looks like a uh, coral reef. Caramel has like a golden look. Kind of like a rock, golden rock look. So yeah, that's what we get when we take caramel frit and we push it on the back of some hot glass or we create an implosion using frit. See, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Can get it to focus out here. Beautiful, beautiful creation. We'll probably keep it as a pendant and put like a loop right on top up there. Boom, RDW with a weld. Mm, beautiful. 
Alright everybody. Let's put that in the pins. Eliminate the possibility of it cracking. Alright. So now when you see frit, when you're looking at frit online and when you're buying your glass colors and whatnot, just now you have an idea of what you can actually do with the frit. You can use it to create an implosion pendant, like we just did there. I got this little, uh, I did a small bubble out of, like I used a tube and did like a bubble of color at the end of each tube. And then I cut them, put nails. Now we have this, where when I'm looking and I'm like, oh, I just made, you know, a red mushroom. Would that look good on this light blue stardust? Or would it look better on, you know, red to red? Where would it look good? And you look at the yellow and you're like, oh wow, red and yellow. It's a dope. And then I create a brand new piece, red and yellow. That's how that works. I uh, did that a while ago because I knew that would be very useful. So I hope that in this video you learned what frit is and how to use it in at least one way. Alright? Thank you so much for watching these videos. And, and thank you for your support. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel if you like the content you're watching. And be sure you're hitting the like button if you're liking the videos. My name is Riley, this is RDW Glass. Hope you guys have a safe rest of your week. Happy melting. Stay safe. Peace, guys.